Hi, welcome to my channel ClickView Enthusiast. I am Abhishek, a ClickView learner and today I will share my learning about one of the ClickView objects, list box. A list box is a commonly used object to provide the filters into the dashboard, uh, like the one you see here. So this is the time filter or the list box which is present in a horizontal fashion from which you can select a value. So for example, if I want to select 2010 and uh, I want to select quarter one, I can select quarter one and see the dashboard as per my requirements. So these are uh, one of the examples of the list. Let's see some other examples of list like uh, the vertical list, which is uh, a commonly presented uh, list box into the sheets. So you see that in the details sheet you have uh, various list box like this account name and you see that uh, this list box is uh, uh, presented as a vertical one. So you can drop, you can uh, scroll down the values and scroll up and select relevant value and see that the dashboard is updated. So let's clear for now and uh, you see that it has uh, another uh, list box present in a vertical fashion and uh, here from here also you can select the value uh, one other list box presented as uh, as a horizontal one and uh, you know mix and match kind of a scenario over here with the list boxes so let's see how you can create a new list box in the sheet. So to create a new list box, you need to right click on the blank space, uh, go to this new sheet object and click on list object. In this list object, uh, you need to select the field because uh, you need to assign a particular field for which you need to create a list box. So for example, let's say we want to create a list box for account country. I select this and I am saying that uh, use as a title. That means account country will be the title of my list box. But if I don't want account country as a title or want to give some other user friendly name, I will uncheck this and update the title over here say just country just misspelling here C O U T R Y. all right so it means my underlying field is account country which is related to list box but it has an alias uh, with the name country in the title so i'll just click on ok and you see that uh, the list name is country whereas the underlying list is showing the values from the account country field. Now let's select some values from this list and uh, show you the result. So let's say we select GBR Great Britain and uh, we see that dashboard is updated for this value and uh, say we want to see the December performance. Uh, it is again updated and account customer yes no say no so everything is updating based on the selection we are making in different lists so you see that lists are really useful uh, in in the sheet or in the dashboard to dynamically update the values so let's clear all this selection that we have made and see some of the list properties. So let's click on clear. And uh, you see that most of the lists are clear. However, this one is not because uh, there is one property which is set, but we will explore this later, how to set such properties where one value will always be selected. And uh, to show you the list box properties, you need to right click you need to first put your mouse over to the list box, right click on here and say properties. So you see that a list box properties window is open for you 
where uh, the country title is mentioned which we previously changed the field is uh, account country which we selected earlier and you have uh, some other properties uh, that are mentioned below here like show alternative side excluded read only and uh, we will see uh, some of these properties like how they affect uh, the the list box that is presented here in the front end so before moving ahead uh, just a small clarification that uh, uh, I'm not going through each and every setting over here in depth and uh, I will be covering uh, commonly used uh, properties for the list box so let's start uh, with the a simple property like read only once you select this option read only and uh, hit ok uh, now in this text box uh, I'm sorry in this last list box you will not be able to select any value so I'm trying to click here but it is just a read only so this is useful in such cases where you don't want the end user to select the value but you have just presented the value for the end user reference so that they can see the value and make a decision. So let's move ahead and see another property. Right click on list box and properties. I'll uncheck here and uh, I will say hide excluded hide excluded is uh, is a property uh, which you will see that uh, once you select the value rest other values which are not related to the selection will be hidden so if I select any of the country over here rest other countries value will be hidden so if I select Ireland so you see that the other values for other countries are hidden now and that's what select excluded will do so let's again right click on properties and uh, uncheck this button and hit apply all right so the next important property is uh, always one selected value and uh, this one I mentioned uh, when this uh, select a salesperson uh, field I was mentioning that when I clicked on clear uh, the value was not gone the value was uh, selected even after hitting the clear button so so for this property uh, where one value is always selected here is the check checkbox for that always one selected value but this property will be enabled only when at least one value will be select should be selected from this list box so let's see uh, what happens if I am not selecting any value let's say clear nothing is selected from here again I'm right clicking on list box properties and you see that this value or this checkbox is not enabled or this property is not enabled so to enable this property we should first make a selection in this list box and come back again into the property and enable this checkbox so let's put ok uh, select a value go back here properties and click on always one selected value click ok so if I clear this if I say clear even after hitting clear you see that the value is not gone it is still present here so that reflects that uh, this property will be useful in such cases where uh, you want to pre-select some default value for the end user or for the management meeting so that whenever somebody is opening the dashboard or the sheet uh, they should always have some values pre-selected so let's uh, remove this uh, property for now so that I will explain some other feature I will go back to properties and uh, unset this apply ok and I will hit on clear so now everything is clear and only selections uh, based on this selection 
So these countries are related to the salesperson that's why they are highlighted in white and the rest of them are in gray because they are not related to this salesperson. So the next property I want to discuss here is uh, is the sort property. So sort property is about uh, sorting of these values based on the selection that we are making here. So because this is text that's that's why text is uh, pre-enabled pre-selected and uh, we have the option of this uh, order like a to z sending or descending order is like z to a uh, alphabetical order z to a uh, you'll click on apply and you see that uh, values are now in z to a fashion in a reversive uh, alphabetical uh, fashion over here or if you want in a normal fashion like u to z it's selected like this so you see this one important thing that uh, first those values will be highlighted which are uh, related to the selections and then after again the sorting is done based on those on those values where uh, they are not related to this particular selection so that is an important thing to note so let's move ahead and see another property which is presentation which is in the presentation tab uh, it is about the alignment which, which we commonly used so we see that uh, currently this text is left aligned and because it is because of this property the text is left aligned but if we want the text in center for our requirements you can hit apply and you see that it is now center aligned or if you want it right you can hit this and it is now right aligned so let's make it a default left aligned uh, apart from that if you have uh, text apart from that if you have uh, numbers in your state of text uh, then you need to enable this property uh, by clicking on the radio button uh, so you need to say what alignment you want you want right center or left in case if you have numbers in a state of text after this alignment property uh, let's discuss about this uh, uh, single column uh, property you may have remembered that I talked about uh, seeing the horizontal list box like this so if we have to create a single uh, a horizontal list box we need to uncheck this property so as of now we are here and seeing the country properties uh, let's create this a horizontal kind of a, a horizontal as well as a vertical kind of a list box so let's uncheck this and enable this property fixed number of columns so we need to specify how many numbers of columns we want so here in this case of year we have one two three four and five columns so for in case of a country let's say uh, we need uh, five columns I just entered five click apply and OK so you see that uh, the list is now divided into two different sections first column and second column if we uh, move or resize this little bit towards the upside we see that third column is created and if we further resize a fourth column is created and if we further resize a fifth column is created one two three four and five now we need to resize it horizontally so that values will appear properly okay pretty well a little bit more and we are pretty much done we will just resize little bit so that all values will come all right perfect so now we have this country list box properly aligned well that's pretty much all the properties i wanted to cover here in this video and uh, thank you for watching my video see you in the next video
बाय